curious about how to improve your design and UX related decisions with existing research data, then UX desk research might be the answer. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we are talking about UX secondary research. We'll discuss when to apply it, what data sources to use, and what are the main steps of the UX desk research process. Let's get into it. Secondary or desk UX research is a type of research that you conduct by analyzing already existing data. For example, you use data from previous research activities, industrial reports, or case studies. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're redesigning an e-commerce site. Your time and budget constraints are tight. So you seek ways to collect data without conducting costly user interviews or usability tests. Instead, you decide to analyze support tickets first. You then look into UX research reports from usability studies you've run. You may even conduct competitor analysis to consider where your site may be lacking. As a result, you see users mostly complain about mobile UX issues to your colleagues from support and that most competitors use a different site structure. Based on these findings, you can now draw conclusions to which elements need to be redesigned and tested. You have just conducted UX secondary research. The opposite of secondary research is primary research. During primary UX research, we actually conduct user research studies such as usability testing or user interviews. So we collect data directly from target users. For example, when you act as a moderator during moderated testing, you are conducting primary UX research. The best time for UX desk research is usually early in the project, during the discovery phase. It helps you gather foundational insights before diving into primary research or design work. The main advantage of UX desk research is that it's cost and time effective. It allows you to access a wide range of data, which would be expensive to collect individually. Moreover, the insights you gather during primary UX research may end up being identical to those already available through UX secondary research. UX desk research also helps with benchmarking and identifying gaps for opportunities. Let's go over the data sources you can use for UX secondary research. The most important one is probably previous research findings. You can find them by accessing UX research reports or using information from UX research repositories. Or you can ask your research ops team to help you gather. They might provide useful information and give you reliable insights into your target audience. Then you can use the free industry data. For example, you can look for case studies that companies or even competition in your industry have conducted. Other data sources you can use are academic journals and research papers. Journal of Usability Studies and the International Journal of Human Computer Interaction are great examples of data sources for secondary research. So, how to do UX secondary research? The first step is always identify key questions you are addressing in your research. Are you preparing for a redesign, identifying major usability issues, looking for ways to improve conversion rates? Then gather the necessary information for the UX secondary research. Don't forget to check whether the data source you use is trustworthy. Once you have the data that applies to your research, organize and analyze it. For analysis, you can use such tools as affinity mapping, thematic analysis, matrix diagrams, and user journey mapping. Then evaluate whether UX desk research will suffice for the research purpose. If not, ideate your hypothesis and move on to the primary research. There we go. If you want to learn more about ways to analyze data, check out some useful links in the description. And don't forget, if you need a powerful UX research tool that can automatically prepare research reports for your UX secondary research, check out UX Tweak. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.